Hi, Nelson. Hello, Alireza. <laughs> it's a pleasure being with you again. It's a pleasure to meet you again and get to see you. I think we're going to have another very productive conversation and the topic is going to be very hot today. <laughs> exactly. I'm so interested to know about this session topics. Please explain. So for your audience, I'm just going to read the questions that I asked you proposed to be the conversation today. And there are several questions. They're all very complicated. <laughs> so the first question is, what are the limitations of language? And by language, I mean words. I don't mean visual language. So I mean essentially linguistics. And then another question, which elements, elements of life, I would say, are best expressed through the visual arts than through spoken language? And finally, a third question, a controversial one, does psychoanalysis pay attention to those extra elements or is it a treatment modality exclusively based on words? So I think we're going to have a beautiful hour talking about all of this. Great topic. I like it. I also have some notes that I wrote. I'm now in front of my computer. No problem. I would like to comment something with you because I studied Lacan at university. Uh, we studied it in aesthetics. From what I remember, in the visual arts, Lacan is understood very differently than he is um, interpreted in okay. psychology courses and psychoanalysis. It's almost like if there are two different kinds of language, you've got especially film theory, where they talk about the angles of the camera, they talk about and they try to understand the appeal of films through Lacan, because according to them, Lacan was perhaps the best psychoanalyst to describe art, in particular drama and film, apparently. But then I also know that Lacan is not taught anymore in psychology courses. So if you go to the psychologists and the psychoanalysts, it seems Lacan fell into this favor. It was even banned, wasn't he? <laughs> but then if you go to faculties of fine arts, if you go to the humanities, and if you go to film studies, all of them quote Lacan. I am very surprised because in psychology courses, they don't teach Lacan, they don't teach Reich, they don't teach Jung. But it seems that in the arts, Jung is so important and Lacan is so important. And I would like to know, why do you think there is this separation between the psychology academia and the visual arts academia? It's a great question and difficult answers. Your point of view makes sense to me. Carl Gustav Jung theory mostly emphasizes on the archaeologist. As you know, most of his story try to explain the universal archetypes. And as you know, Jung has a very long travel to all over the world. And when he discovered the common sign and symbols through the different culture, in India, Africa. And he, Walt Disney. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because of his emphasizes on the philosophy, culture, and archetypes mostly known as a theoretical theory in psychoanalysis. And despite of Freud theory, that is a very clinical theory, and his theory still works in clinical settings. The Freud theory is developed by several thinkers of him, and as you know, Lacan is the most famous theorist who developed Freud theory. Do you think the difference is that in psychology, they want to study effective ways of helping the patient. So Freudian theories are more effective in real life settings. As Jung, it's more the symbology, the poetry. Exactly. Or perhaps more connected to the arts, arguably. Do you think that's the reason why there is this split in academic studies? Exactly, exactly. If someone wants to start to study psychoanalysis, Maybe better to start by studying the Jung theory and then 
shift to the Freud theory, and then shift to the object relation theories, and then shift to the Lacan theories. This is mostly suggested by most of the psychoanalysis in the United States, as I could graduate from several psychoanalysis institutes, and this is a common syllabus. So, so tonight, we are going to do the reverse. We're going to start with like, huh? Exactly. <laughs> reverse. <laughs> now, I want to share one thing with you. When I studied Lacan, I confess I didn't read these 900 pages of writings, you know, but I found his texts extremely tiring, very, very boring. Initially, as a student, when I was 22 years old, you know, 23, I felt he was overcomplicating things. There was no need for that, I thought, as a student. I blame the French culture because the French love to do that. They love to complicate very simple ideas. Maybe because I lived in the UK for 20 years, Lacan has no presence whatsoever in the United Kingdom. And I might be wrong, but is it true that Lacan is also not considered important in the United States when you compare to Europe? Is he more studied in continental Europe, would you say? Yes, exactly. And when you study the biography and the works of Lacan, you understand that he started a revolution in psychoanalysis. He was a kind of protester about the International Psychoanalysis Association. And you can find several controversial discussion as far as he started his own French Psychoanalysis Institute. The United Kingdom belonged to the British Psychoanalysis School. Most of the works of Melanie Klein, Object Relation Theories, the United Kingdom has its own Psychoanalysis School. United States has its own, and the French Psychoanalysis School belongs to the Lacan works. Because you know, Ali Ressa, the first time I read Freud, I fell immediately in love with his writings. I started by reading his last book, which is Moses and Monotheism. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, the way he explains the birth of monotheistic religions and why. I was just, I was thrown off my chair. I was literally, this man is a literary genius as well as a psychological genius. I'm not sure if Moses was Egyptian, (laughs) that's something that he says, which I find strange, but (laughs) apart from that small detail, I thought it was the most fascinating book ever. When I started reading Lacan, I was always not only falling asleep, but I would have to reread four, five, six, seven, eight times to even start understanding. Perhaps we will have to define some of Lacan's terminology because it's so complex. And I am worried that what I learned in the Faculty of Fine Arts, because it belongs to the arts tradition of interpreting Lacan, might be a little bit different to the way Lacan is interpreted in psychoanalysis. So, for example, I wrote a quote here which I want to read to you. It's by a filmmaker, Jean-Luc Godard. And Jean-Luc Godard says, and now quote, art attracts us only by what it reveals of our most secret self. I will read again because I think it's beautiful. Art attracts us only by what it reveals of our most secret self. So, According to Jean-Luc Godard, when we watch a film, it's like voyeurism of ourselves. We are seeing ourselves in the film. Maybe we identify with the camera, that's one option, or we identify with one of the actors, usually the hero, the good one, the strong one, the best one. So it's almost like a narcissistic projection where we are looking at the film and we are imagining that we are the superhero. But, Jean-Luc Godard says, what it reveals of our most secret, secret self. 
That also implies that we like to see things that are secret about ourselves, things that are shocking or that we don't want to admit that we have. And this brings me to the first question. When we study film theory, we learn that Lacan is so important because he talks about the mirror stage. Mm. For the first time in the baby's life, the baby sees the reflection on the mirror, the specular reflection of the mirror. And suddenly, the baby, six months old, little thing, suddenly the baby realizes that he or she is one person instead of different body parts or instead of a um, continuation of mummy. The baby realizes that there is a unity that represents the child. I just had an idea. Before mirrors existed, perhaps the baby has to be reflected through the mother's shiny eyes. And if the mother loves the baby, the pupils dilate, the eyes become very black and they reflect more. If the mother does not love the baby, if the mother is a dead mother, the pupils do not dilate, and perhaps the baby never sees himself or herself well reflected. Exactly. So I just have a thought. Maybe the mother's love introduced the baby to the mirror stage before mirrors existed. <laughs> The object relation have exactly these sentences in its literature. When the baby could find himself or herself in the mother eyes. Yes, the mother eyes can reflect the baby unity. When the baby find in the mother eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mahler when try to explain the differentiation stages. When the baby understood that the unity is not real and gradually find that there is a differentiation between himself or herself with his own or her own mother. Yes, exactly. Growing up, it's a series of traumatic separations. All of us, we were literally expelled from the mother's body. <laughs> it's, we were thrown out of the body, repelled by the mother's body. And we went into a very cold place. Even breathing for the first time is probably painful. Then, in the mirror stage, we have the shock and the trauma of realizing that we are not one with mommy. Exactly. And that we are not one with the world. That we are separate. We have a reflection on the mirror. At the same time, we are curious to study what's in the mirror. We identify with the reflection, but we also know that the reflection is not real. It's not the real us. It's just a, a reflection. So we have to learn, again, to separate from our own image. It's very difficult. Teenagers will tell you. And then <laughs> we are thrown out of the family background. As we grow older, we have to go out, leave the house, find our own perhaps family. And then many people have to face divorce or they have to face the death of loved ones. It seems like life is a series of separations. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you are even thrown out of your community because you don't agree with the same beliefs or you challenge uh, the ideas. And there's a lot of process of throwing away.